go on YouTube. So today I am going to be making another fly tying video for you guys today, another instructional. Uh, hopefully you like this one, but I'm not gonna waste too much time with talking and I'm just gonna get straight to it. So today we are gonna be tying a size 12 stimulator. This one's uh, going to be in black, kind of to match the uh, tiny stone flies or the tiny black caddis flies that um, are hatching during mid-April, or I should say early May, early April to mid-May, maybe late May. So we got ourselves a size 12, just your standard nymph hook, curved nymph hook. And you can use just about any nymph hook, it doesn't really matter, but something with a little bit of curve is good. We got some 140 denier black ultra thread. Uh, you probably use 70 would be better. This is probably a little heavy for this. But it still works. So we're gonna use that. Get your thread started. Pull this down. Cut off your tag in. Then we're gonna work this. Ooh, crap. Watch out for your hook, but point and then we're gonna work that till well into the bend here and you know what yeah let's start with uh, a good old elk hair here got some elk hair use some deer hair whatever no matter uh, we're gonna get a pretty sparse clump here it's not too much because this is gonna be for the tail. I just see not too much there. Strip, hold the tips, strip out any of the unwanted stuff like the fuzz and the short hairs. And get your stacker, stack the hair. Hair is stacked. And I'm not going to be too, doing too big of a tail. Really, when it comes to fly tying, it comes with personal preference. You don't have to do everything perfect. Because actually, the less perfect it is, the more likely fish will want to eat it. Less perfect, more bugginess. This is what I say. We got that tail tied in there, it flares out, looks nice, it's gonna help with floating. And then all they're gonna do is simply make some open spiral wraps on this elk here to about the halfway point. This always looks messy, but it won't matter here soon. Snip that off. Close. Get everything together. I'm gonna uncord my thread here. You just spin it counterclockwise. And it'll flatten out the thread. And we're gonna compress all this down. Go back up. We're gonna take some small sized ultra wire and silver. Um, you can use extra small, extra fine, whatever. It's probably better because this is a dry fly. But all I have is small size, so we're gonna use that. Add that in on the near side of the hook. We'll work our way back up. 
So, we got some Rusty Brown Hackle here. We're gonna be tying that in. Let's see, pull down a few of these. snip off the little bits at the end. And then we're gonna tie that in right where you left your tie in point. And I'm just gonna lift it up. Get this to vertical so it's out of the way. And we're gonna work our way back down the shank. This is by no means traditional or anything like that. This is basically just tying a stimulator with what you have at left on your tying bench. I just so happen to have all the materials, so I thought I'd, I'd teach you guys how to do this. It's actually a fairly simple pattern once you get going, so that's nice. But right now I'm just putting on some black dubbing. You can use any color you want. Olive, yellow, orange, red, rusty. Heck, do purple if you want, I don't know. Fish will eat just about anything. I got that dubbing on there. Oh, hit the camera, my oh, bad. Let's see if I don't do it again. Now we're gonna make a slender body here. Touching wraps. Up the hook shank. Yeah, I think that's enough. I'll wrap my hackle. To your hackle here. Let's see if it fixes lighting. Whatever. Then we're gonna take our hackle, or wrap it down to the hook shank. Once, twice, three times, four times. It's just about five. Then we're gonna take our wire. Not a lot is going on. Camera's probably gonna freak out. And we're gonna capture that hackle with our wire. Or not. <laughs> I might have to do another turn here. Okay. You guys say it's not easy with all this stuff hanging around. I wish I had uh, some tools to support this, but we're gonna zigzag our wire through the hackle now. I should move this all the way down here. Should've done that in the first place. Trying your best not to trap hackles, you will. Trap some, just try your best not to. Like, I definitely trapped some right, right there, oh well. You can pick them out later if you want. But our wire's down here now. I'm gonna bring this back.
Get that tied down and helicopter this off. There we go. Get that nice and tight. There. And then come in here with your scissors. Cut that hackle off. Well, it doesn't look too bad right now. I'm gonna go back to the elk hair. Do about three times as much as you did for the tail. This is gonna be for the wing. So you wanna measure a wing. It goes just behind the end of the tail or up to the tail. Now I'm gonna tie this in the messy way. Two loose collecting wraps and pull down. Another wrap, pull down a little bit more. Another wrap, pull down. Do that a few times. And then I'm gonna bring this up. And a couple wraps behind. And bring this back. Get all the buttons here. I'm gonna do a shallow angle. Kind of using the, the hook eye angle as a guide. Throw all that away. So I end up with this. Uh, flatten my thread again. And just kind of create a nice ramp here for the rest. Alrighty. I'm gonna grab that hack hole again, strip off the ends, make some tie-in anchors with the scissors again. Tie that in right at the base of the wing. Make sure that's in there real good. Go back to the base. And Mordo Bean. Don't need nearly as much at this time. It's just a small section. Just get this as thin as you can. dubbing on there push it up and up my thread here now we're gonna give nice even wraps down to just probably a hook eye length behind it and then we're gonna wrap our hackle Once, twice, three times, one, two, three, capture that hackle. I'm gonna do one and two in front. Should be in there when I cut it off. Close. And then we're gonna make a, build a small head on the fly here. enough and we're gonna take our pin do a couple half inches wrap around the pin pull the thread tight let's do four I 
it should be nice and tight on there. Cut the thread off. Get some head cement. Now, if you guys know of any better lighting I can get for making these videos, let me know. I have some ideas, but they're pretty expensive, so. And then I'm just gonna do a drop of head cement or two at the wings. Just to increase durability. They shouldn't pull out, but. Better safe than sorry. And there you have it. The stimulator in black. So that was the stimulator fly tie instructional by me. Um, if you guys enjoyed that one, like me know, let me know. Uh, leave a thumbs up, like the video. Um, yeah, leave a comment if you hated it, if you loved it. Either way, it's cool. But I uh, hope you learned something. Um, I know I just learned this pattern yesterday. So I'm already teaching you how to do it. But there is a ton of great videos out there. I learned this from Tom Rosenbauer's uh, live video. And he tied this. But yeah, um, let me know what you guys want to see next. And uh, if you want any of this cool apparel, go to religion.net, I'll leave a description. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Sorry, it's early, I haven't had any coffee. But, speaking of your coffee, you want some free range coffee, I'll leave that in the description below. That helps me out a lot if you use the code MikeGoesFishing, and that'll save you 10% off on your order. Um, I believe you can use MikeGoesFishing20 for the religion apparel. That'll give you, I think, 20% off for your first order. But yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.